Welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and weekly download episode number 18, which is my weekly tech and PC gaming news series. Today, I'm going to be playing possibly my favorite game of 2016, Killing Floor 2, while I give you this news, and I'm going to be sipping on some crystal ice. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. Let's get into it. First, I'm going to keep this week's show a bit shorter than usual. Weekly downloads are usually about 7 to 8 minutes long, but I'm going to try to keep it around 5 minutes. Make sure you guys let me know what you think of the new format. Also, make sure you guys check out my newest video, my review of the GTX 1050 Ti. It's a pretty legit, tough little card. To start off PC gaming news, Microsoft has announced that most Windows 10 games will support offline play, but it won't be easy. There's going to be a lot of restrictions such as you can only have one computer designated as your offline gaming computer and you'll only be able to switch it three times per year. I don't know why they're making this difficult, it doesn't seem like a hard concept in my opinion. Next up, two popular games, Terraria and Dungeon Defenders 2 are going to be showing off a little content crossover later this year. Terraria players will get to experience intense evasion style action from the Dungeon Defenders 2 theme and Defenders 2 players will be able to recruit a powerful hero to help them out from Terraria. This seems like a pretty cool concept and would be awesome if more game developers did this. Congregate, the publisher of many online browser games, has their eyes set on Steam. As of right now, they are only announcing two of their games that they're bringing over, but it should open up some new windows for their indie company. They make a lot of super popular games on browsers, so I'm sure some of that popularity will follow over to Steam. Have you ever looked at a quote screenshot of a game on Steam and then quickly realized that the game looked nothing like it? Well, Valve is cracking down on screenshots on Steam and they're going to make game devs post actual screenshots instead of concept art. Valve Valve admitted that games like Dota 2 have screenshots on there that look absolutely nothing like their game, so it would be nice to see those eliminated so you can actually tell what you're paying for, especially for less popular games. To wrap up gaming news, the Hello Games Twitter account has finally been revived. Kind of. Ever since the devastating launch of No Man's Sky, their social media has been dead quiet, but apparently they sent out a tweet stating that they made a mistake and it was quickly deleted. This made some people curious, and the event shed some light about some disgruntled employees and Sean Murray stating, we have not been coping well. Go figures. I got my money back by the way, thanks. Moving on to tech news, the new MacBook Pro line was announced for 2016 and the laptops might just be the fastest stock laptops on the market. They were really dialing in their M.2 PCIe SSD that is making them super fast along with forcing other competitors to include the technology in their laptops. Other than the new touch bar at the top of the keyboard, the new MacBook Pros are a pretty normal and solid update. On November 10th, Google's new VR headset, Google Daydream View, will start shipping. This is basically an updated version of the Google Cardboard, maintaining the same concept of putting your smartphone in the headset. Apps such as Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube will have a VR mode compatible with the Daydream, and other developers are following suit as well. Next up, System76 is selling a new Cabby Lake laptop line that is coming standard with the Linux distro Ubuntu, and it's starting at just $699. The top of the line laptop will come equipped even more powerful than the Dell XPS 13 and will come at a cheaper price because they don't have to pay money to put Windows or Mac on their machines. Pretty cool idea, especially for you people that pirate your operating systems. <clears throat> Moving on. There's a pretty interesting crowdfunding campaign going on right now for a 24 inch collapsible umbrella style display. The product is called SPUD which stands for spontaneous pop up display and although it's only rocking a 720p resolution to keep costs down, the concept is pretty legit allowing you to pop up a bigger screen wherever you want. Finally. Fractal Design launched a new PC gaming case, the Define C, and it's kind of a made up size. It's smaller than a standard ATX or micro ATX case because they wanted it to house powerful components but not waste space like most micro ATX cases do. They eliminated some extra space that most cases have and eliminated the amount of drives which shouldn't affect too many people. The case also looks pretty much like everything that Fractal Design creates. Real quickly before ending this video, let me introduce the sponsor of this video, Technic Share, which is a company of social media experts. For the past few months, they have helped my social media grow so much and they can help you too. Their info is down in the description. Well that wraps up weekly download episode number 18. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what your favorite tech or PC gaming news was this week, or if I missed anything. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.